Hi guys, this is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you stopped here today. So I'm talking about my makeup collection goals or like kind of like my promises to myself slash New Year's resolutions with makeup for 2019. I feel like this is a long overdue video, but I'm just getting to it. And you know, it's kind of the end of the month. And I know if you look on YouTube, everybody's like, low buy no buy <laughs> just kind of going through their collection and i'm not saying i'm not buying anything but i definitely want to be like more conscious of the things i do purchase so i don't know if you saw some of my declutter videos i realized i decluttered about 120 items out of my collection so most of that really being lip products and the other ones being like maybe about 19 to 20 eyeshadow palettes and the same thing uh maybe another 30 something miscellaneous products. When I say miscellaneous products, I'm talking about like mascaras and eyeliners and you know, primers, necessary, necessary little things to do your makeup. And then maybe about 19 other face products. So I definitely just want to be more conscious of the things I bought. So I don't know if you saw when I did my lipstick declutter, when I did that declutter, I was painstakingly aware of the fact that I had. <laughs> 275 lip products it was just like whoa 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 where did all this come from and then you know when we have them in our cute little organizers and you're going through them you don't realize that and it's just so easy to pick up a lipstick here lipstick there you're wondering Sephora you come to get this palette or this particular item oh that color is pretty by beauty has a new formula dose of colors is coming out with new lipsticks Riri is coming out with you know new stunner lip paste it you guys get it it just goes on and on and on next thing you know it's just like over a couple years my collection it ended up to 275 so i was painstakingly aware when i did my declutter and realized i decluttered about 85 products out and all of this stuff i hadn't purchased at once so it wasn't like i don't want you to think like oh i just purchased everything in 2018 so a lot of my collection has really been coming along uh, for years and some of the things I've had for a very long time like my MAC pigments but I decided that I was going to do like a makeup journal and I know a couple of other people are doing that also so I have literally a spreadsheet on my computer and it's also because I have Apple products I can also access it on my phone so literally anytime that I buy makeup and I'm going to try to like insert it while I'm talking about it, I literally have the date I purchased it. Not the date it came, but the date I purchased it because some things like one thing I did purchase in January was something that came from overseas. So it did take a little bit of time, but just like as a reminder, I purchased this on this date, not the date that it arrived the um, product that it is, if it's an eyeshadow palette, lipstick or something like that. And then the company what the product is the name of the product and the pricey and if it was a gift because you know i had a little christmas money so you know about a couple of things and then if like it was on sale so how much did i actually end up purchasing for the item so i felt like this would be a good tracking mechanism because i didn't want to just like depend on like my sephora totals or my ulta totals because lord knows i have picked up like a lipstick or two at target you know, there's no way to really track that. Or like, you know, maybe Elf or Nix has something at Target and you know how easy it is to pick up things at Target or uh, if you go into Walmart or any other place that sells cosmetics. Not to mention, I buy a lot of indie makeup. So like ColourPop could be a major offender. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I was keeping track of that and how much I was actually spending. And not so much that I'm like, not gonna be buying anything. I'm definitely into new products, but there's certain parts of my collection I'm like, I want a rainy and like I don't want to have as many of these products like or I just don't want that much new stuff of this particular items coming new into my collection so one thing I really don't want new are lip products like I told you I had like 275 first of all I have one pair of lips more than likely you wear one lipstick throughout the day so why why I mean a lot of some of them are old some of them were also you know i got rid of a lot of stuff but so literally in the last you know maybe two months two and a half months of the end of the year like i'm picking them up let's see if i can get it all in one hand 
all of these and I just dropped one <laughs> what else is new all of these lip products came into my collection okay <laughs> so as you can see major offender <laughs> color pop the other half is Pat McGrath <laughs> but I'll get to her in a moment okay so this is why I say I don't want to buy you know it's so easy when like color pop releases a palette they release like most people leave some collection and you just pick up a few lipsticks now the Becky G collection came out and I was actually interested in all five of those lip products so I just bought the set so I think one was one that dropped literally so I have here so, and then these are from like, oh, here's one of them. So that's the other ones. And then literally I have these two from the wet collection. So it's just so easy to see how like that can just turn into 275. So I'm not gonna really set like a hard project pan goal as far as like decluttering my makeup collection or using it all up again. But I'm very curious to know if I just rein in the spending on certain products, like can I go through? a good decent amount of it but go through and enjoy the products because you know it's nothing worse than just trying to pan stuff just for the sake of using it and you're not really enjoying the product we didn't buy it for that reason we bought it to enjoy it and then these right here are um maybe it was oh it was one of the pat mcgrath products i dropped so these right here i bought the pat mcgrath lip everything kit and i did swatch these in my um haul video so i have like blood one right here no, I'm sorry. Said blood one. This is blood two, right here, and then I have these are kind of like those are her old formulas. She reopened the vault on um, for Black Friday, and they came with lip glitters. So I was just like, this is a great deal because you get like six lip products from Pat McGrath and I watched old YouTube videos with this stuff before I was on her train and I was like this stuff is great everybody's saying the formula is quality top notch just what you expect out of all the other products that are for sale right now at Sephora for Pat McGrath so and on her website so it's just like you know what I think it's only one I kind of like probably won't wear which is this um flesh one this is flesh one right here it's a little I don't know that's that's very light <laughs> so these are the colors right here very much my tone red vampy lips I love a good red lip but these are the products that I bought from her and then I tried her mini lipsticks towards the end of the year and then I was like oh the mini lipsticks are good so when she opened the vault she had some stuff on sale, then she had 20% off her sale. So I bought these lipsticks right here. I bought from her Lux Trance um, line and I bought from her Matte Trance line. And then, you know, I did a video where I swatched these. So, I, you know, at the end of the day, if you see, I've had so many lip products come into my collection. So that is one area where I'm just like, that part of my collection could just not grow like that. I'm like adamant. However, I did pick up two of, okay, I have like one in my purse, but the mini lip glosses that she released to Sephora because I was just like, you know what? I don't have any of her lip glosses. And you know, one lip gloss retails for $28. And I was like, I can get three minis for $25. And you know, you're not gonna go through that. Like, let's, let's not kid ourselves. Any day of the week, I can take a mini lip product, a mini, anything i'm good for it because you're not gonna go through this stuff that fast nine times out of ten you just really are not so that is just like one area i'm like okay girl we're gonna rain in the we're gonna rain it in we're not gonna spend as much so i'm definitely looking forward to like tracking my purchases also, I just want to be more thoughtful about the stuff I'm buying. Like, not, like I can say, like eyeshadow palettes. I was like, what if I just limit myself to like one eyeshadow palette a month? And then I was like, well, that's still I have 12 eyeshadow palettes. And to like the normal person, that's a lot of eyeshadow palettes. But for like somebody who loves makeup, or if you love makeup like me, that's not a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And then, I mean, honestly, I want to review nude eyeshadow palettes. And if I like the eyeshadow palettes, I want to buy it if it's within reason or I feel like this is something I really want to try so 
some things I want to do better in, some things I might not do as well in, it might be about the same, but it's just going to be very exciting to see exactly what I did, how I did it. And then, you know, I do have like a low mini wish list. So I do want to like maybe try some Delia Tools brushes. That has been something that's been on my wish list for a very long time. I do want to try Melt Cosmetics. Um, however, I'm not interested in the new stack that just came out. Like those blues are very pretty. And the palette to me actually just, if you spread out the stack, just to picture it if it was like the Gemini palette or the Smoke Sessions palette, where like one half of the palette is colorful and the other palette is neutral other half of the palette is neutral. It's like the same thing, but they just did it in a stack format. So I'm not sure if the stack, if it's going to be better because I've heard the quality is a lot better in the stack. So that is on my wish list. I definitely have Linda Hallberg on my wish list for 2019. So very interested in the Infinity palette, the Infinity Deep palette. I'm also the Metallic Mysteries or something like that. It's called, I'm very interested in that as well. And, and the Blue Crayons I'm interested in also. So, um, like I said, I have stuff on my wish list and you know, I do want to try things and I'm going to buy stuff, but I just, like I said, everybody can afford to just do better, you know? And then I do kind of want to try to see if I can use some things up, like blushes. I'm not going to be bringing a bunch of blushes into my collection. They take forever to use. So literally I bought this blush like two years ago because when I first hit pan on one of my blushes, I decluttered it in my video. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be out of it soon. And this was on sale. This is the uh, Sephora Micro Smooth and Rose in Motion. These blushes are very nice uh, by the Sephora brand. So if you can see, I'm going to kind of hold it up. It has like the little hump. Let's see if I can hold it like this. Maybe you can see it better. So I really want to get like down and get it flattened. I want to try to see if I, maybe hopefully I can hit pan on it. It's still January. Maybe. And then let's see, I've really been loving this Juvia's Place Heroin Glow One. I have that on today. Actually, I'm actually wearing like the Fenty Concealer as a foundation today. I've been loving it like that. So um, this one, it has a weird packaging, so I'm not sure you can see, but it's very much raised. I want to see if I can like knock that raised part level down, but I've been using it, but I've, it's something that I've been enjoying. So I want to just see how much of my collection I can kind of go through and I'm just gonna have fun with makeup. I plan to bring you guys lots of exciting new releases when I feel like they are worth reviewing and worth my time and effort because I do buy this makeup myself. So I just want to like keep you informed and I'm gonna do little check-ins and see how I'm doing throughout the year. Have I used up any products? What have I discovered about the products in my collection? Because I do know there's like one lip gloss I've been truly loving. Um, it's by Bite Beauty and I can't even see the name because it's a mini and it's like the, the print is so teeny tiny but you know when you go through your collection and you're like sitting things and you're like where has this been like I had this like I had so much I wouldn't even know so I'm just really just trying to enjoy my collection. So let me guys know your thoughts down below. Are you trying to like rein in your makeup purchases this year? Are you like, nah girl, I'm balling out on the budget. Or I'm just gonna ball out, I don't even care. But I'm just, just gonna try to rein in. I think mine's gonna be like rein in slash ball out on a budget. I'm not gonna set like a hard goal for myself. I'm not gonna set a dollar amount, but I'm definitely gonna be conscious and write all my purchases down in my spreadsheet. So let me know what you guys think down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And I will talk to you guys later. You know, I have another video for you very soon. And I'm gonna hit my, my chair for days. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.